Yeah, PCOD is something is very rampant. Uh, believe or not believe, if I'm seeing uh, like 10 patients in OPD and if they are young, uh, younger age group like 30 to 40 or 20 to 40 rather. So they, eight out of them, they are having PCOD. So PCOD is sometimes the women, they are really getting scared and they go for the health checkup or uh, they get the ultrasound done and there is a PCOD picture in the ovary. What is PCOD? PCOD is polycystic ovarian syndrome so or disease. So basically what happens in uh, any woman's life, ovaries, they are making single egg in a month. So in PCOD, we call it polycystic. Polycystic means they are poly means many. So actually these are not cysts. They, uh, they are the eggs. And there are so many eggs, they start forming in the ovaries. And uh, because so many eggs, they start growing all together. There is no space uh, for one single egg to grow to the age of maturity. That means uh, until unless one single egg will not grow up to the size of 18 millimeter, we don't call it mature. So they, they, these are all very small eggs, like two millimeter, three millimeter. And the, the whole ovary is studded with all these small, small, small eggs. So in the bargain, what happens when they, these, the, the ovary is full of these small eggs and there is no, none of the egg is getting mature. None of the egg is getting uh, in good size. So in this situation, what happens? Ovaries stop making uh, very good egg. And to conceive for every woman, uh, there should be single egg uh, of uh, 18 millimeter size at least. So if the ovaries are not making egg, we call it an ovulatory cycles. The menstrual, she is menstruating every month, but the cycles are during the cycles, she is not making eggs. So they find it very difficult to conceive. This is one scenario, but the, most of the time, the unmarried girls are coming and they complain of, doctor, uh, the, uh, I have been diagnosed with PCOD, I'm gaining weight, my periods are not regular, my periods are delayed. It's uh, uh, Earlier, I used to have cycle like uh, every 28 days or 30 days, but nowadays, for two, two months, three, three months, I'm not having periods. So the cycles are delayed and they're gaining weight. There is extra hair on the face, all over the body, on the chin, on the breast and on the tummy. And they have got truncal obesity. Truncal obesity is because what happens in a PCOD. So estrogen is basically female hormone. Testosterone is basically male hormones. So when ovaries are not making one single good egg, they stop secreting mm -hmm. estrogen. And there is the dominance of the male hormones is becoming more over the female hormones. And this is the reason the body start getting extra hair. This is the reason we have got truncal obesity and the tummy is becoming bigger than uh, the other females. So this, this sort of scenario starts coming and they, they, start, they start having hair fall. There are so many things. So they start complaining that uh, this is all coming to me. I'm feeling lethargic. There is extra pigmentation on my body. So these are the symptoms of PCOD. So uh, if they come to me, the treatment is altogether different. If somebody is young enough and the main problem is that uh, the, the patient is gaining weight and uh, there's extra hair on the body, we put them on uh, insulin sensitizer. Because basically... Insulin is the hormone which is uh, controlling blood sugar in the body and the body becomes in PCOD, body be becomes resistant. Resistant means so body is not responding at all to the insulin. So this is the reason you are gaining weight. This is the reason you have high blood sugar in your body. So we put them on insulin sensitizer. We put them on the medication which help to lose weight and which ask them to uh, take measured diet uh, talk to the dietitian on uh, some dietary uh, supplements or uh, high protein diet and do regular exercises. Exercises are very, very important, you know. So whole idea is to lose weight. So if they lose at least 5 kg of the weight, that helps the hormones to come back within normal limits. And this, this treatment is basically for the young girls. But for the women who have uh, who are married and they are finding difficulty to difficult to conceive, as I told you, because 
are supposed to make single good egg <coughs> and they are not able to make single good egg in such situation we ask them we put them on ovulation induction uh, drugs some tablet to help ovaries to make single good egg so most of the 80% of the women they are getting uh, they are happy and they are uh, getting pregnant uh, within 3 uh, to 6 months of span of time but some percentage of the women like 10% of the women whatever you give them medication whatever they reduce the weight still their ovaries are quite resistant they are not making single egg in such situation we advise them a single treatment that we call it uh, laparoscopic ovarian drilling so this is basically surgery this is only for the women who are uh, not responding with the medication so uh, we ask them to get admitted that uh, single overnight they are supposed to stay in the hospital and laparoscopy surgery if you have heard about it this we call it minimum invasive surgery or keyhole surgery also so uh, earlier if you remember earlier when any time if we have to do any surgery on the body we have to you know, used to make big cut like 6 to 7 cm of the cut to um, to go inside the tummy and to see the organ but nowadays technology is very much advanced and as i told you i have myself uh, super specialized into you know, endoscopy surgery we nowadays we just give 0.5 cm of the cut you know if you see this finger this is basically 1 cm of the width so half of the width of this finger we have to give cut 0.5 cm of the cut what we do with that we just go the over to the ovary and we destroy or we take away the bad eggs bad eggs basically which is which are occupying the ovary and not letting the normal egg to grow so we just destroy them we just take it out and we make the basically we create the space for normal egg to grow so this procedure is very simple it hardly takes 5 uh, to 10 minutes it's a minor procedure only thing she has to stay uh, sometimes uh, we can discharge the patient in the evening or sometimes they just need to stay overnight over there and good thing is when we do such procedures we we get the opportunity to check the tubes because sometimes we are thinking uh, the lady is not getting pregnant because Mm, the ovaries are not responding she has got pcod and there is some other factor so any woman to conceive basically we need a good uterus we need a uh, patent that that means uh, the fallopian tube should be working and we need good sperm so ovarian uh, drilling helps ovaries to make good eggs but at the same time you put the dye in the tubes and we check whether the tubes are opened up or not so we can check inside the uterus also sometimes there is uh, the inside the when inside the uterus there is a cavity where baby stays so this cavity is normal or not that also we can check we call this procedure hysteroscopy so these are the tiny uh, scopes we can put it inside the cavity and there is hardly you know hysteroscopy doesn't even need any cut we just go through the natural orifice and we see inside the uterine cavity so any obstructing lesion any growth any septum anything we can see and we can uh, treat at the same time so i call it see and treat approach so the patients who are having just to summarize the patient who are having pcod we put them on the diet control we put them on the weight reduction journey ask them to do a little bit of exercise if it's not working then we put them on the insulin sensitizer or the uh, uh, treatment medication to ovaries to get help to uh, ovaries to make good eggs if this is also not working the last resort is laparoscopy and hysteroscopy we always help them with this uh, these uh, minor procedures and trust me 60 to 80% of the women they do conceive uh, within 6 months of the surgery